Hello YouTubers. So this is my my theory about the geoengineering. So let li let's listen to this uh, fellow first and as he describes what he saw in the rain, what he detected in the rain. So let's listen a little bit. And so the things I'm going to show now basically are based on the work of a guy in Germany who, who spent three years, four years, five years, six hours a day in front of a microscope to find out what is in the rain. And one component is a piezoelectric nanocrystal. Um, this is kind of a pure sample of the thing. You can see it has some kind of magnetism that makes the little particles join each other like magnets, which is one aspect of this piezoelectric properties. And the most amazing thing, uh, if, if you look it up, um, piezoelectric prop properties would could be expected with the barium strontium titanate, which is kind of a fingerprint, barium, titanium, strontium, that we are looking for. There's no aluminum in it, but three of the elements are contained in this piezoelectric crystal, and we can see that this is a extreme interesting crystal, because this is now a raindrop dried on a uh, piece of glass put under the microscope and when you, when you remove the top layer and then um, come with your finger close to the drop or just <gasps> breathe on top of it you will see certain effects appearing and I'm going to show it, this to you This is just a chain, slight change in air temperature and infrared radiation from a human body. This could also be our magnetic field uh, reacting with this crystal, so that's also a possibility. It's very interesting, the reaction. So w we have highly transparent nanoparticles. They have a uh, refraction that is four times higher than the one of the diamonds. That, um, if you look it up on Wikipedia, you can read there that they are valid for uh, scalar applications that they can be used in um, um, applications utilizing time reverse uh, field structures. It is a set of physics that is not in the public domain. It's scalar physics. But even in Wikipedia, it is mentioned as one of the particles that can has the ability to handle and process scalar waves. Let's put it this way. Maybe it's the easiest. Very interesting. Yeah? We can process scalar waves. Um, this is the reason for the plant death, because the, tra the crystal is highly transparent, but it absorbs UV light. At 260 nanometer wavelength, it is 100% opaque, absorbing UV signals. And this is wow. exactly the frequency where the, the plants are that. processing the cell, div cell division impulse. Cell division occurs if a uh, UV biophoton is hitting a cell. This is kind of the trigger to tell the cell, please divide into two. And if you have these particles within the plant tissue, you absorb all these cell division signals and the plant stops growing. This all could also be blocking what I'm going to show you next, which is this uh, gentleman went to Peru to the Andes to talk to some people that are supposedly ancestors of the Mayans and they came down and they have a message to deliver so let's listen 
And the primary reason that I wanted to speak with them, and of course I'd read the stuff that Alberto had written about, but I wanted to hear it from them, is because what they say, and Alberto confirms that the message hasn't changed ever since he first went, met with them over 40 years ago. They believe that this particular time in our evolutionary process is very, very significant. And there is something that is occurring right now which is giving us the opportunity to awaken what we have been told is junk DNA. And that process is this. The solar storms. And Alberto says that he knew nothing about the forecast solar activity that started in October of 2011 and runs right through until May of 2013. Alberto said he knew nothing about this. And it wasn't until these guys told him about it in 1966 or whatever it was that he went away, did his research, and obviously established that, yes, there was very strong solar activity forecast at this period. Interesting, no? So the... The solar flares are going to somehow bring energy to enlightened people. Just no wonder many people are being awake. So the question here is, are those crystals blocking that electromagnetic wave or something like that? This is uh, very interesting because the chemtrails, the geoengineering, is more than the meets the eyes and as we know our world is all about electric and magnetic and dielectric so this is my theory they could be blocking our arising our consciousness arisingness so connect the dots peace